Okay, guys, this is the teacher episode two. Mm. <laughs> Wait, what live here? Um, do I really want to live here? Guess I'll put this a good fucking great idea. <laughs> wow, that's a really good idea. I think highly will. Really appreciate having someone here with her. I'm so happy that you <laughs> like my idea. It means a lot to us. It's not easy leaving her, especially when she's just 13. She's a teenager now. She needs me more than ever. She needs a woman to help her understand that she's slowly turning into a woman herself. Go. Put your hand up here. Right here. Okay, whatever. I can only imagine how you must feel, but I will be here for her to help her. And I will guide her and support her, but mostly important, wait, most importantly, <laughs> I will be her friend. Mm, you don't know how much it means to me, Mia. Thank you so much. Girl, you ain't a fucking friend. You a fucking sit-up, bitch. Don't cry, Miss Collins. I will do my best. It means a lot to me. I may have a chance, oh wait, I may have a chance to pay for college with this job. She pulled a silk handkerchief out of her purse. Why is it out there? Pur oh, excuse me. And dried her eyes. Why you walk around with a goddamn handkerchief, girl? Thank you, Mia. <laughs> no, thank you, Miss Collins. Um, so, how would every day be well, how will everyday life be like here? What? What's the plan? You wake up and get yourself in highly ready for school. She does most of it herself. You might just want to help get her up on time. You drive her to school. And after that, you go to school. <laughs> Ivy, bitch. Real Ivy. She gets home from school by herself. When you get home, you start dinner and help her with her homework. Make sure she goes to bed on time. Then when she's off to bed, you have time for your homework, friends, or whatever you want. Just as long as you're home if Kylie needs you. You even get Sundays off. I'm going to get up. Oh, uh, well, you know, well, here's a, actually, I should get Sunday and Saturday, huh? He ain't shit but a motherfucking teacher. Saturday you get off at 7 p.m. So then you can go out or whatever you want. Daryl will be home Saturday and Sunday all day. And he'll help you with Kyle on school days too. But he has to work late sometimes. That's why I need you. Well, that sounds like a plan. But I will need some time to run things over with my dad. Hmm. Can I call you tomorrow? Sure, of course. I'll be leaving in a week, so you could call me tomorrow. That would be great. There are a lot of things to plan before I leave, so of course. Bruh, <laughs> I would like to know. <laughs> you're, uh, you're in as soon as possible. Of course, I understand. I'll call you tomorrow, I promise. Thank you, Mia. No, thank you for the offer. I need to go now. I have an, easy, an, an essay due tomorrow night. Then off you go, dear. Talk to you tomorrow. And, and this bitch still ain't. She damn slow, girl. She still ain't pieced it together, these goddamn Collins. Dad, I'm home. Hi, Mimi. Ugh, ugh, not Mimi, child. Not my daddy white, child. <laughs> The, the uh, sparky lamp ate the pillow and punched Larry. What? The striking force. Yes. Great, huh? What? This is my dad. He's a writer currently working on a new book. His style of writing is well, as the French would say, you know, weird. Mm-hmm. 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 
Um, hey dad, how's the new book coming? Found a title for it yet? Hi, Mia. What? Oh no. Any ideas? Uh, no. Black Willow Pillow. It's, it's perfect. <laughs> Let's see. Not me, me, Mo. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> he's a bit weird, but I know, but at least he's funny. He did have a a bestseller in his younger years but I have but haven't had one since. Poor guy, he deserves it. I went over to Miss Collins after school. She made an offer I couldn't refuse. Yes, an offer, yes. She said she would pay me triple the amount of money that I was advised if I would live with Kylie while she's gone. Live with her, yes. Good idea. What child? He dropped his nub head on the floor. Live with Kylie for a year? That that's crazy, Mia. I know that, but all this money will pay for college. I know you're stressing over it. I just need to finish this book. I know it it will be a bestseller. I know it will too, but in case something happens, it's really good money, Dad. If it's what you want me, Mimo. Dude, stop calling her that shit. <laughs> then I will miss you. Oh, Dad, you big softy. I'll come and visit you every weekend. I might call you if I need some help on ideas for the book. Oh, I expect you to. I'm proud of you, Mia. Oh, Dad. My dad's my best friend. My mom died when I was five, so it's always been just the two of us. <sighs> he might have become a bit sentimental throughout the years. I guess he thought I was that I wait. I guess he thought that I needed a <laughs> feminine sensitive and mom like side from him ever since she died. I don't know. So he developed it for me. He did his best to make sure I wouldn't miss her too much. I love this fucking room, girl. Oh, God, I'm going to miss this film. Not that I'm complaining about going to live in a mansion, but I'll miss this place and my dad. Phone buzzing. Who the hell's Jake? Oh, the boyfriend. Hey, babe, I miss you. Want to hang out tomorrow night? Hey, I miss you too. Sure, let's hang out. I'm heading to bed now. It's been a long day. Talk to you tomorrow. Sweet dreams, beautiful. Um, a part of me still felt in love with Jake. But then a part of me also felt a bit unsure about us. The crazy, amazing sparks are, a lot, are kind of gone. There's no butterflies anymore. Mmm. Girl, that's that girl. Hey, Mia. Hey. So I'll pick you up at seven. We could go see a movie. Sounds great, but I get to pick the movie this time. I know it's your turn. Nothing too girly, please. We'll see. Well, I'll see you in class then, beautiful. See you in class. Hey, girl, hey. <laughs> Not hey, girl, hey. <laughs> Who the fuck wrote this story, child? <laughs> Hey, Kels, what's up, girl? So, how did it go yesterday? Really well, actually. I got the job. Really, that's amazing, Mia. What was she upset about then? You said she sounded upset. I told her the offer that Miss Collins so gracefully made. Whoa. Tell me you said yes. I did. Pew, thank God. Actually, you didn't say it. 
girl. Let me make you say yes, girl. You know, it kind it's kind of only the only way I could afford to go to college with you. Excuse me. I'm proud of you, Mia. Oh, you the best part the best part is definitely that we're going together. I really oh my god, what the fuck I just blow my shit up, child. I really appreciate you taking a sabbatical with me just so we can go together. You didn't have to do that. You have good grades and the money to get in this fall. You know I want to go with you. College is going to be the best year of our lives. And honestly, I don't mind doing absolutely nothing for a year. So, you just go work your butt off and earn that money. So we can go next year and have the blast. I will. Yes. <laughs> Cute boys, parties, and sororities every come in like 16 months. Not you know the exact months, girl. Well, 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 who should I, I put on the spot today? Oh, girl, don't put me on the spot, y'all, because I don't got the time. Uh, Miss Rose, is it? You seem awfully interested in this. Why don't you come up here for a second? Oh, um, sure, Mr. Collins. God damn it. I knew he was going to put my motherfucking ass on the goddamn spot. Okay, so, I'm Miss Well. Weld's substitute for today. She called in sick this morning. So, Miss Rose, since since Dr. Prevence, well, I don't know what the hell her name is, could, uh, could be here at any mo- minute to tell us about practicing safe sex. <laughs> My heart skipped the beats up as he looked at me. Somehow, the only word I heard was sex. <laughs> He was very captivating. Kelly was right. He couldn't be more than 25 years old. What? Oh, why don't you tell us what sexology is, Miss Rose? Yes. Okay. Well. Calm down, girl. Sexology is the scientific study of human sexuality, including human sexual interests, behaviors, and functions. Very good, Miss Rose. I guess you did read your homework after all. Um, I, I want to respond with sass. You know, me being the ignorant, ignorant person I am. But let, let's go with a little bit of class. Of course I did, Mr. Collins. But thank you for testing my knowledge. Well, my pleasure, Miss Rose. The classroom oohed as Mr. Collins and I shared a short but obvious moment of chemistry. <laughs> I looked nervously over to Kelly who was playing, who was also, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> go back, please. Go back, Jesus, child. No, oh, it won't go back. I don't know what it said, you guys. I was blushing while he lifted an eyebrow to some boys in the class for putting us in an uncomfortable situation. <laughs> However, the inappropriate picture or uh, the inappropriate picture that was painted in my mind was unstoppable. It only contributed to my flush look. Well, you may return to your seat, Miss Rose. Thank you. I couldn't get back to my seat fast enough. One one moment more up there and I'm sure my legs would have collapsed under me. He shook his head, smiled, and ran his hands through his messy hair. Or his messy light brown hair, girl. Oh. Um, how I would love to, <laughs> to know what he was thinking right there in that moment. Did I make a good impression? Did he also imagine us in an inappropriate situation? <laughs> girl, you you real girl. Pipe it down. Put your damn drawers on. Jesus, Mia, why do you even care? He's your teacher. Knocking on the door. There we go. Come in, a doctor. Doctor. Oh, this lady. Uh, this character is so fucking ugly to me. Welcome. Welcome, class. This is um Doctor Doctor P. 
Nobody's interested in Dr. P. Ass. She's fucking smiling. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Dr. P is a sexologist, and she's going to teach you about safe sex. Whenever you're ready, Doc. Thank you, Mr. Collins. Okay. All right, can we skip this shit? You know, I'm just, um... Why is he looking at you like that? He's he's not. He's... Ooh, ooh, wait. He is looking at you, Mia. He's probably just baffled about the fact that I actually knew the answer to the question. Or maybe I have something on my face. Please tell me I don't have something on my face, Kelly. You don't relax. Do you want to know what I think? Not really. I think he's got a knife for you. He's just looking at me. And the way he looked at me sent a shiver down my spine, girl. And I could feel my cheeks turning bright red. His stares were so intense, so mysterious, but unfortunately not everlasting. He looked down to the book on his desk while holding a hand to his chin. I felt kind of creepy as I couldn't take my eyes off him. I was studying him, mesmerizing his posture and the slight waves in his hair and his dimples that were visible even when he didn't smile. It's one big birth defect, is not. <laughs> he was so beautiful. Oh, you mean handsome child? What the? Fuck? Oh, girl. Oh, and I know you guys keep asking me to do this one. That, um, the assassin female one. And I most certainly will. But I got a lot of stories going on at the time, so you guys may have to wait a little bit. But this was episode two. I want to play. And I think I'm going to post episode three. Because I'm kind of interested now. <laughs> so you guys. um, You guys do not have to ask me to record Chain Reaction. You already know I got you. I'm, I'm in it for the long haul with Chain Reaction. And I'm not, I'm not sure what I. I think I'm just going to play another episode of this. Uh, the teacher. And post that as well. And then I don't know which uh you know episode i'm gonna record after that so enjoy you guys enjoy